Tesla is developing a brand new cutting edge electric vehicle and it's only going to cost you $25,000 to own. But how could it even be possible in today's world to build a compelling vehicle at such a low price, particularly an electric vehicle? Well, there's a secret behind the 25k Tesla that makes it more than just a cheap car. This is a revolution in manufacturing and efficiency, and this is how we change the world. We've been eagerly anticipating the $25,000 Tesla for a long while now. We were originally promised a release date in 2023, but as with most things Elon related, timelines are more of a suggestion rather than written in stone. And while there is still much to be decided, we did get a lot more certainty at the Tesla Investor Day event in March 2023. But a small side note before we dive into that, it's worth remembering that this car will not actually be called the Model 2. Elon was very clear about the name during the Tesla annual shareholder meeting way back in 2021, stating Model 2 is not a car. There's no Model 2. Now, has that stopped most people from still calling it the Model 2? Of course not. So, until Elon gives us an actual name for the sake of simplicity and clarity, we will be joining everyone else and refer to it as the Model 2 as well. Tesla as an automobile company exists to create sustainable and environmentally friendly mobility, and while the company has introduced progressively cheaper cars over the years, the lowest price Model 3 still starts at almost $40,000 today. Of course, it didn't stop the even more expensive Model Y from becoming the world's best-selling car this year, beating the Toyota Corolla that costs half as much. That being said, $40,000 is still a lot of money for most people who want to own a car, and those people are still mostly using cars that run on petroleum fuel. Tesla wants the Model 2 to be the solution, the next phase of the EV puzzle, a car for the masses. This is a hugely significant move for widespread EV adoption. Sure, there are a few cars that fall in the price range already. The Chevrolet Bolt EV and Nissan Leaf are two such examples that are relatively affordable and cost between $27,000 and $30,000, but they haven't been very successful. There are a few valid reasons for that. The average person purchasing a sub $30,000 car can likely only afford one car, and it must do all that is expected of a commuter car without any hiccups. It's not the price bracket you will find technology enthusiasts and early adopters in, this is instead the segment that prioritizes reliability, efficiency, and utility, and the current affordable EVs don't check all the boxes in that regard. The Nissan Leaf has a claimed driving range of just 149 miles. The Chevrolet Bolt EV boasts a better 259 miles, and those just aren't good enough numbers to make people ditch their gas guzzlers, especially for those who make the occasional trip out of town and are already skeptical of new technology. The final nail in the coffin is, of course, the charging infrastructure. Nothing comes close to the Tesla supercharger network when it comes to reliability and performance. Non-Tesla charging stations have been plagued with issues ranging from lower than advertised charging speeds to simply not charging at all. The internet is littered with increasingly frustrated and annoyed EV owners being let down when they needed it most. And for a potential customer, this utter lack of reliable charging networks can be a deal breaker. It's so bad, in fact, that Ford and General Motors signed a partnership with Tesla announcing that in 2024, their vehicles will be able to charge at Tesla superchargers via an adapter and in 2025, all their vehicles will come with the Tesla NACS ports from the factory. But when it comes to affordable EVs themselves, there is a gap in the market. Volkswagen hopes to fill it with the production version of the ID2 concept that they unveiled in March 2023. They are aiming for a sticker price of $27,000. Also in development at VW is a cheaper EV set to be priced at the $21,000 mark and to be unveiled by 2026. But with the generally terrible reception Volkswagen's current EV range has received, it remains to be seen if these will prove successful. The eventual arrival of the Model 2 changes that landscape dramatically. So what do we know about this upcoming car? 
Well, the highlight remains its affordable $25,000 sticker price, which hopefully doesn't go the way of the $35,000 Model 3. It will sit on a completely new platform and will be Tesla's first car designed to be primarily utilitarian. Elon Musk described it saying, it's not meant to fill you with awe and magic, it's to get you from A to B. Now, that's not to say it still won't be beautiful to look at, and while we don't have a final design, we do know it will have a really short front and rear overhangs with much less storage space than the rest of the Tesla range. A lot of the design, external and internal, was defined by ease of manufacturing and reducing processes. Tesla wants to make this car easy and efficient to manufacture, and saving costs at every stage remains a high priority in making this as affordable as possible. In the third quarter earnings call for 2023, Elon reiterated how seriously Tesla was taking cost reduction. Even small things like internal stickers and QR codes were being evaluated for their contribution to the vehicle's cost. Ever thought about picking up a new language? Maybe you're dreaming of overseas adventures, wanting to connect with relatives in their native tongue, or simply seeking a new hobby. The perfect solution to all of those is Babbel. And by clicking the link in the description right now, you can grab a fantastic 60% discount code on your subscription. So why choose Babbel? Their lessons are built around real-life use cases, whether that's for travel, professional settings, or day-to-day -day conversations. Babbel is ideal for those traveling, hoping to bond with family, or seeking to boost their career. They have a range of subscription options, including a lifetime one, and with Christmas around the corner, a Babbel subscription makes a wonderful gift and a gateway to new experiences. I recently embarked on a journey to brush up on my French and surprised my friend who recently moved to Quebec over a call using the French I've learned over the last three weeks. When he asked how I was doing, I replied, Je vais bien. Comment c'est de vivre au Québec? They were surprised I could answer, I'm doing good, how is living in Quebec, and respond with another question. Designed by expert language educators, Babbel focuses on conversational skills for everyday situations. Best of all, they offer a 20-day money-back guarantee and live classes. You'll receive two complimentary ones with your subscription. Now, I'm curious to hear from you. Which language piques your interest and what's your reason for learning? And remember, don't miss out. Click the link for an amazing 60% off your Babbel subscription below. If the Model 2 is to be a primarily utilitarian car, though, does it mean it won't share the sports car humiliating performance figures of other Teslas? Can it be, dare we say, slow? Well, we don't know just yet. What Tesla has told us is the car will have a new type of electric motor that will use zero rare earth materials in it. That's the expensive stuff that drives up cost. In addition to that, the engineers have also reduced silicon carbide used for key components like transistors by 75%, allowing Tesla to manufacture these new drive units for just $1,000. For context, if you were to buy yourself a motor replacement, it would cost $9,900. So, simply put, this is a very expensive item that will now be a lot less expensive, which is good for us, the consumers. The new unit will also be compatible with any battery chemistry, so the 2170 cells which use nickel-cobalt aluminum or nickel-cobalt manganese cathodes and the relatively new lithium iron phosphate cathodes can be used as well. If keeping the car affordable is the goal, which we believe it is, we expect the Model 2 will be powered by a single motor, and while we don't know how this new unit will perform, we are keeping our fingers crossed Tesla engineers can work their magic the way they did with the single motor rear wheel drive Model 3. Those can still hit 60 miles an hour from standstill in 5.8 seconds. And in addition to all of this, Elon famously said at the unveiling of the Model 3 in 2016, at Tesla, we don't make slow cars, so hopefully that still holds true. Tesla's Master Plan Part 3 also confirmed a 53 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery pack for a low cost model, and it's fair to assume this is the one that we will see in the Model 2. Using Tesla's own 4680 cell format and LFP chemistry, we can expect a range of at least 250 miles. This range is, of course, speculation, since range is a factor of battery and software in addition to other areas like aerodynamic drag. And Tesla could still find further improvements to surprise us all. 
With Tesla now using its own 4680 cells manufactured at Gigafactory Texas, we can anticipate better efficiency. So the Model 2 looks promising, but with an uncertain launch date in the future, the competition is heating up. European manufacturers are bringing more affordable EVs soon, and the idea of a $25,000 EV might not remain as exclusive as it feels right now. What really makes this endeavor so promising, though, is Tesla's commitment to manufacturing efficiencies that drive down costs. And the Model 2 will be a culmination of years of constant development and improvement. Elon said in an earnings call in 2022, it will cost the same to manufacture two units of the Model 2 as it does to manufacture one Model 3 at the time. And we finally have a better idea what that process will look like. We know Tesla made some huge improvements in manufacturing efficiencies with the Model Y. The company used the immensely powerful Gigapress to replace hundreds of parts with just two large castings and a battery pack. The battery pack itself is used as a structural component, a concept very common in the motorcycle world. All this saved Tesla about 40% in costs. With the Model 2, this will go a step further as they aim to cast the entire underbody of the car in just one piece using a brand new 16,000 ton Gigapress, their most powerful one to date. When it comes to putting the car together in the factory, the process has remained virtually unchanged for the last 100 years since Henry Ford pioneered the concept. It starts with the external shell of the car being put together, including the doors. Then it would move on to be painted, after which the doors are removed, and individual components from the engine to the interior and underbody are installed one at a time. All this happens in series on a single production line, with the parts of the car assembled and disassembled multiple times along the way. But Tesla has developed a better system that makes it far more efficient, which they call the unboxed process. Every side of the car is worked on independently and in parallel, so the doors are built independently, the interior is installed as a separate assembly, and the floor is prepared with the seats mounted on them. Only once these sub-assemblies are ready do they come together at the end of the line, putting the sides together with a front and rear that is already assembled and the underbody is raised into the car. Then the completely built doors and wheels come in at the end. This approach to building the car in parallel instead of in series means more people or machines can be working on a single car at the same time, and there's less time spent doing nothing. Tesla claims a 30% improvement in time, space, and efficiency. All of this is only possible because of Tesla's philosophy of running a few key processes in parallel. Design, engineering, manufacturing, and automation teams all work together instead of in silos. While this sounds incredibly chaotic, in fact, this collaboration affords the company the ability to brainstorm and problem solve unlike any other. So when the design and engineering teams are developing a car, it's hand in hand with what is possible from a manufacturing and automation standpoint. And with the huge leaps that Tesla has made in manufacturing efficiency, it's clear that it works. Tesla has worked hard to simplify and reduce all of its processes, and the Model 2 is a culmination of that endeavor with a vehicle that does not compromise on quality, but is exponentially more efficient to manufacture. In the long term, this efficiency might end up being Tesla's biggest competitive advantage. Initially, Tesla planned to build the Model 2 at the upcoming Gigafactory Mexico. As we mentioned earlier, engineering and manufacturing teams work together, so while prototyping and R&D takes place, manufacturing teams collaborate to ensure it all makes operational sense when it comes to actually building a car on the production line, which is also developed alongside. It is a resource and labor intensive process and would involve Tesla's top engineers and experts relocating to Mexico for the duration of the project. However, we've now learned from Walter Isaacson's biography of Elon Musk that this will no longer be the case. The teams were unwilling to relocate and thus the vehicle and its production line will be developed at Gigafactory Texas before being copied to other places like Mexico, Berlin, and China. That's right, the Model 2 will be manufactured across Tesla's network of factories around the world because it aims to be the highest selling car in the lineup by a long shot. Tesla believes it will exceed the production of all their other vehicles combined. That's millions of units annually, pushing Tesla closer to its long-standing goal of building 20 million cars per year by 2030. So the Model 2 is shaping up to be the next big thing for Tesla, but... Did you know it almost didn't happen? 
Back in 2021, Elon Musk outlined his vision to develop a fully autonomous electric vehicle. No steering wheel, pedals, or mirrors. It would be called the RoboTaxi and be smaller and less expensive than the Model 3. He said, We are not going to design some sort of amphibian frog that's a halfway car. We are all in on autonomy. But Tesla executives thought it was too risky of a gamble. Chief designer Franz von Holzhausen and others worked very hard to convince Elon that the full self-driving system might not be ready in the way it needs to be, and if it is, there might still be regulatory hurdles in the international market. They instead convinced Elon to explore the idea of an affordable car, since a huge market for one existed. Fortunately, he agreed and the Model 2 project was born. However, the robotaxi is not dead. Tesla still has its plan dead set on that vehicle, and it will share the same platform as the Model 2. Tesla also took another major step forward, refining its full self-driving tech with a radical shift in its philosophy. Currently, in its 11th version, the FSD system uses a rules-based approach where road laws and rules are fed into the programming and then implemented by the vehicle. For FSD version 12, though, Tesla is trying out a learning system instead. This dictates that instead of following hard and fast rules, the system learns from footage of incident recordings, something Tesla has thousands of hours of. This is cutting-edge artificial intelligence in action, and we saw this when Elon went live on X a while back, demonstrating it in his own car with no accidents, at least none on camera. It's fair to say, though, perfecting FSD is at the heart of making RoboTaxi a success. The world of electric vehicles is evolving faster than ever. Traditional automakers have finally got up to speed, and even though they still have some catching up to do, we can expect the cars to come thick and fast now. With the Model 2, Tesla is once again looking to leapfrog the industry, and with what we know, looks poised to do so. The advancement it has made in manufacturing processes and efficiency are commendable. As to when we can expect to see one, a good guess would be sometime in early 2025, but let's be honest, Elon is not known for being on time with these things. Until then though, we shall keep our eyes peeled and always have $25,000 kept aside.